Hello and welcome to Open Pakistan webinar series. The Open program provides professional development opportunities to English language teachers and learners through its virtual programs, including Open Global Online Courses, Massive Open Online Courses, webinar series, and alumni engagements. The program is fully funded by Regional English Language Office Rello at the U.S. Embassy Islamabad. Evolution is the local implementer partner in Pakistan. If you wanted to further explore about the different opportunities and professional uh, opportunities, you can log into www.facebook.com slash Pakistan. Or if you wanted to know about the next coming opportunities, then you all then you can also uh, go onto the website and check the details on www.evolution.com.pk slash eTeacher. The Open Pakistan webinar series has been recently started and it's basically 30 minutes short videos in which the alumni basically share their different ideas, methodologies and their lesson plans with the uh, teaching fraternity and the professionals. A short introduction of myself. My, my name is Muhammad Hassan Abbasi. I'm a senior lecturer at Bahia University, Karachi campus. I have been teaching since over three years with an experience of teaching undergraduate and postgraduate students. I'm also an English Access Micro Scholarship teacher at NED University. I am also an alumnus of Open Pakistan Global Online Course Teaching English to Young Learners by George Mason University in 2020. I've also completed five different MOOCs about English language learning, teaching, disorder methodology, professional development, and teaching experiences. I have also recently presented at the Open Pakistan Virtual Conference 2021. These different MOOCs and conferences have actually enabled me to grow professionally and incorporate all those ideas which I have learned in these different workshop MOOCs and the, at the open program that I took. They have actually enabled me to teach interactive lesson plans to undergraduate, postgraduate, and even young learners, and they have professionally challenged me. The topic that I'm going to share with all of you, and this webinar is going to be based on using scavenger hunt for descriptive character writing. As we all know that this mod or shift has come and then we all have to resort to online teaching the basic problem that all of the teachers faced beside teaching on online courses was writing because writing requires practice so the objectives of this webinars include learning about descriptive writing using scavenger hunt so i'll be sharing one basic technique throughout this webinar that would be the scavenger hunt how we can use our own home resources home treasure to actually learn about descriptive writing the next step would be learning about step by step how to write about fictional characters description and setting so we'll be exploring one part of the descriptive writing that is actually knowing and learning how we can write about the description of the fictional characters how we can actually create our own descriptive characters third and the last objective would be incorporating the lesson with other digital tools there are so many online tools that are easily available and we can use this scavenger hunt to further ask the learners to explore the digital tools and they can create their own stories using the pictorial uh, mod of the storytelling so they can be wonderful storytellers as well but before beginning with how we can actually incorporate the different ways and modes of writing about fictional characters we need to first explore what is descriptive writing now descriptive writing in its simplest and easiest terms means to describe something as you can see in the picture it means to describe now we need to describe that something in an 
original and unique way so that it appeals to our five senses. So it has to somehow appeal to our senses. We have to somehow manage to appeal to those five senses, sense of touch, sense of hear, sense of smell, sense of taste, and sense of uh, visualizing. So we need to write descriptively in such a way that we are not telling something, but we are actually describing that. The next most important thing that we are going to touch in this webinar is fictional characters. Using scavenger hunt to descriptively write about the fictional characters, but we need to know what are actually fictional characters and how we can create those fictional characters. Whenever a writer or a learner is writing about the fictional characters, we use the following features to introduce those characters in our story, in our writing. So Batman, Spider-Man, Harry Potter, they were all created using these basic elements. So in order to catch the audience attention. So the first element that is of importance is the appearance. How does the character look like? The hairs, the eyes, the cheeks, the height, and there are many other features that you can actually incorporate in creating your fictional character. The next most important feature is the dressing, the way the character is dressed. Did you just notice the colors in Spider-Man's character, the red and the blue? And did you notice they were same in Superman as well? But the Harry Potter's uh, colors were quite different. So dressing plays an equally important role as well. The last thing that is of importance is the setting. We need to introduce the characters in particular setting as well. So I'll be narrating or I'll be sharing the lesson plan with all of you through this webinar that how through descriptive writing using scavenger hunt, you can create your own fictional characters and you can teach the same to the learners as well while teaching there are some rules that we have to follow uh, for this scavenger hunt and before you start teaching the students about descriptive writing you need to first explain them and then introduce them to the rules so we go step by step but before that there are levels of character description as well when we talk about fictional characters, there are, of course, different levels that we need to touch upon and we need to make sure that we are teaching the correct level of learners. When we talk about the young learners, they would rather like to go with simple character descrip description using first person pronouns. So through descriptive writing, you can actually focus on grammar as well. Okay. The second type of level of character description is the complex character description using second person pronouns. It gets a bit difficult with the vocabulary. And the third one that is for advanced learners is basically imaginative character description that is basically taught at the university level. So these are three different levels of character description. In this webinar, we'll follow the first one where we would ask the learners using the scavenger hunt to hunt the different elements of your character and then come up with a simple description. We'll then convert that simple description into the complex character description so that whatever they share, we convert it into complex character description. You can follow the way uh, or the level of learners who are actually teaching. So the first thing that the teachers need to do while teaching descriptive writing using scavenger hunt is to give some basic instructions and rules to the learners that that writing is a step by step process. Now you need to allow the learners that they don't need to care about the mistakes. So ask them and give them this clear uh, instruction that they do not need to care about the mistakes. They just need to write whatever comes to their mind. So whatever 
uh, feature whatever element of the character they wanted to write just ask them to just freely do that okay in writing we ask the learners to share his or her thoughts freely and whatever comes to their mind so ask the learner as a teacher to pick a pen and pencil with you and an empty paper so that you can start writing the moment you are instructed to write so the teacher plays an important role the second rule that we need to consider for this technique that i'm going to that i'm sharing with you is the time limit you need to give the learner certain time limit so that they can go and search the home treasure and then they can come back and do the descriptive character writing also you need to make sure that learners do not google out the information and do not try to copy someone's description you need to tell them that you need to be as imaginative as creative as possible and it's not difficult because you are going with simple descriptions the learners will probably be introduced to language vocabulary reading and writing skills through this as well so you can equally integrate this into different skills of uh, language learning as well so your first job is to introduce how they are going to follow the instructions of the teacher so the step one that all the students are going to follow is the teacher will ask the students to look for different things in the cupboard okay that's the first step that the teacher and you are actually going to ask the students to bring or look for different things in your cupboard a second step the second step is if you do not find that element in or object in your uh, cupboard you can go and ask or borrow it from your siblings as well or your father or parents as well but i'm sure that all of you would have that object with you the third step is once teacher instructed you to go and bring that object from the cupboard you need to bring that object in a time limit and then come back once you come back you don't need to open your camera and start showing uh, that object the teacher will give you guidelines and you do not need to show that object to the teacher in this way we'll be using the home treasure to write about our own fictional characters using descriptive writing now the step one is selecting characters dressing as i told you that fictional characters are created on the basis of three things appearance the dressing and the setting in which the character is actually placed so we are going to go step by step the first step is selecting characters dressing so as a teacher you might instruct your students to go and open your cupboard and go and bring one of your best clothes so you have to ask the learners to go and bring one of your best clothes you have to ask them to open the cupboard and bring one of their best clothes and you need to set a time limit for it as well and that would be one minute you don't need to extend more than one minute so you need to just give them one minute and ask them to come back in that one minute by bringing their favorite clothes or the best clothes that they feel remember give the student this ample opportunity to bring whatever he or she wants to bring in uh, to create his fictional character you can see uh, in these images that there are different clothes that i can select as well and i would suggest as a teacher that you should participate as well and you should also open your cupboard and go and bring your favorite uh, dress or the clothes remember that if you're teaching young learners then you need to give them certain examples of vocabulary items as well like for example you can go and bring shalwar kameez your favorite one you can ask to go and bring your favorite sari you can ask them to go and bring uh, the different colors t-shirts shirts and jeans so you can actually instruct them on different levels on color on vocabulary on uh, the different uh, style of dressing as well 
or the character that they actually wanted to create as well so you can give them this opportunity once the learner is back in that one minute now it's the time to learn how to describe or how to create our own fictional character so what we need to do is we need to describe those clothes that we have or that the learner has just brought it okay so while describing those clothes you need to tell the learner that they need to focus on color whether it's yellow blue white it's too shaded and then the size as well okay we have common sizes available for uh, the people uh, who wear it and then the shape as well and the touch as well remember descriptive writing is appealing to the five senses so you need to focus on the on these different aspects as well additionally you can also ask the learners to talk about the brand of clothes as well you can give them the examples as well of different brands or you can ask them uh, the different brands clothes that they actually use you can also give them the different uh, examples and you can show them different pictures as well for example, when you talk about the brand, you can give them examples of Levi's, Adidas, Mango, uh, Calvin, Calvin. And you can also talk about other brands as well. Now, let's have a look at some of the examples because as a teacher, you cannot ask your learners to share at once whatever they have. You can ask them to let, uh, let them uh, share if they are doing it voluntarily otherwise you can ask them to bring some you can share some examples uh, of your own so as i introduce you to three levels of character discrimination description and you can use or choose on the level of learner that you are actually teaching so if i had a young learner or if i had asked my uh, learner to share the learner would possibly would have shared in this manner, keeping in mind the shape, size and color. So the character description in terms of the clothes, in terms of simple description would have been, I have a gray and purple strips, medium size, soft and comfortable polo t-shirt. So the color is here, the size is here, sense of touch is here and the brand is here as well. And you can have similarly another example. I have a light brown color medium size frog. Now, this was the simple character description or uh, the way the learner actually wanted to share. Remember, we are open to mistakes and we want learner to share uh, using the free approach uh, and they can share and they can possibly make mistakes here. Now, once the learners share their simple description, you can then guide them to use or describe the character using second person pronoun that is known as the complex character description that is for intermediate or for learners that can easily describe uh, at the first level so an example is given here like he wears medium size soft and comfortable two colored polo t-shirt with gray and purple shades so there's no big change as such but the pronoun is changed and probably the structure is also changed as well similarly you can have a look at the second example in the simple description and change it into complex description as well she appears in a comforting light shaded brown colored frog that make her blossom in the evening so you can create that description and you can compare it with the images as well if you're teaching the advanced learners then you can give them this freedom that they can define the way that they wanted to wearing light gray and dark uh wearing uh, light gray and dark uh any color they can choose dark brown black dark color polo uh, cloth Obad appears to be comfortable in front of everyone so that in that manner you can come up with the advanced level of description so in this way you are coming up with the different uh, descriptions 
Now, additionally, the teacher can provide a list of vocabulary items to the students to help them describe. Okay. Now, teacher can provide different um, tools. Uh, they can provide them a list of vocabulary uh, that includes dressing vocabulary, shapes, adjectives. So, teacher's role is very much important. T-shirt types, V-neck, strips, collar, plain, round shape, casual. If you talk about adjectives, the teacher can provide them a list of adjectives as well. Atrocious, troubled, adorable, gifted, vicious, wild. And if you wanted to share a list of clothes with them, then you can go for kurti, shirt, skirt, jeans and many other examples as well. In that case, if your learner is not able to share or come up with a description, then you can provide them a list of vocabulary as well. And remember, the purpose of descriptive writing is to show and not to tell. Also, the teacher can additionally add in his or her toolkit simple character description from famous novels or short stories as well. That would add up to the teacher's toolkit. As I said in the beginning that writing requires practice, so you can go on with some other uh, writing instances as well, like describing your winter clothes. Again, you're going to give the same instructions to the learner that open your cupboard, go and bring one of your favorite winter clothes. Or you can change the instructions as well and you can ask uh, the learners to go and bring one of their sisters or siblings favorite winter clothes or, and why do they actually like and again you can give or set certain time limit maybe one minute maybe two minutes based on your learners active participation and remember that you are supposed to provide certain examples before the learner starts to describe so let's look at the two examples I have a gray hoodie with Nike signature mark and blue and silver shaded pockets. The brown colored wooden smelly overfitted leather jacket look terrible on him. Now they may fall into the intermediate character description or the advanced level character description. But you can always give this opportunity to the learner to first come up with the description that they wanted to. Now in this way we can come up with different characters description we can open our cupboard and we can come up with different clothes and we can give different descriptions so that we can create our own fictional character as well and we can name that fictional character as well so my favorite clothes becomes my favorite fictional character as i said that you can give uh, examples so this is another example of an advanced level character description but it's very easy her blue dubatta blowing in the wind but then she covers her head with it and few layers of brown hair coming out on her face holding a black stylish hummus back and back in her hand and sophisticated black shoes she appears before the press so you see that there is uh, simple vocabulary that has been used blue to butter uh, holding uh, the bag name and then you have sophisticated black shoes so it's very simple you need to focus on shape color size and that would be it and you would be able to create your fictional character and you can name that as well the second step is selecting your character's shoes now we need to describe a character from different angles. Clothing is just one angle and there can be another angle as well. That is if the shoe fits. So you can begin this second step by giving or asking the learners to make a list of trendy shoes or to make a list of shoes that they have or to make a list of shoes that their family members have. So you can again set a time limit and give them certain time so that they can make that list and once that list is made you can share with them again the teacher toolkit can provide them a list as well and you can use this visual shoe dictionary as well in the image as shown on the slides so you can share this as well with the learners now let's 
have a look at the example and we need to follow the same steps. Now, the learners might bring joggers, sneakers, sandals, or loafers. They can bring, uh, by opening the cupboard, they can bring any of their favorite uh, shoes that they think that, uh, that best fits the character. Now, while describing their shoes, they need to focus on the color, size, shape, and touch. We are following the same rules for the clothes description. We are following the same rule for the shoes description as well for the character. Now, you can also tell them as the teacher toolkit the different brands. Let's look at two examples before your learners can share the examples with you. As a teacher, you need to share the examples. I have a coffee brown shaded hush puppies loafers with metal strip in its center. That's one example. Give them another one. She was wearing designers pure white high heels with light green and pink flowers and birds printed on it and three black strips and golden metal strips. It can become a bit difficult, but it's all creative and easy and you need to give the learner the chances, the first level and the second level and before they reach the advanced level so they can easily create these descriptions. Another way you can describe your character is by describing the setting. That is another way you can introduce a character. Now, for this type of activity, you can ask the learners to stand up and be the cameraman, okay? So they can use their cameras to be the cameraman and choose uh, uh, the camera to click the picture of their house. So ask them to click the picture of their house and while they are describing their house, they need to focus on color, object, shape and visual. I have attached the picture of my home as well just for your creativity and just to show you that you need to show and you don't need to tell. So you can keep the picture in front of you and then start to uh, show it to the readers and you don't need to tell. Okay, And you can introduce the character by beginning with the setting and then you can introduce the character. Okay, in this way, using your home scavenger hunt, you can easily follow these three steps and create your own character. Uh, first, by following the dressing norm, the second, by the shoes, and the third, by placing that character in a particular setting. Now, you can introduce different themes as well, like my new year dress and the dream place. So you can give this practice item to the learners when they are going home or as a home task you can give them this task as well that you have to come up with your new year dress and the dream place so you have to imagine that you have to purchase your new year dress uh, in order to celebrate the new year so you can do that as well and as an activity you can ask them to call their friend and explain and describe their favorite dress and if you talk about the setting that they can introduce the dream place as well and they can follow the same activity as well you can further incorporate this uh, activity to the digital tools once the learners have practiced through the scavenger hunt you can incorporate and introduce other digital tools uh, for example bitmoji and pixton you can refer back to the relos previous webinars where these digital tools have been explained and the images of the two have already been used here. So you can give this opportunity to learners to make their own Bitmoji and Pixton characters and they can use those to create their pictorial story writing or pictorial descriptive fictional characters as well. So these were the three simple ways how you can create your own fictional characters using scavenger hunt if you have any comments questions or suggestions please write to us on eteacher at evolution.com.pk happy teaching and happy learning all of you thank you